Hello, my name is uh, James O'Donnell, um, born and raised in Fulcara, uh, lived for quite a while in England and I came home about 11 years ago and uh, I just decided not to go back, I wanted to stay home, um, I guess I missed it a bit more than I realised, so I started enjoying the outdoors again here, up in the hills and walking the local beaches here, getting on out to the local islands and I thought then, well I'd like to have a companion with me, a dog to keep me active and um, I found this pup who turns out to be Iggy, my uh, my sidekick, my ever-present sidekick and uh, we do a lot of hiking in the local hills here, in the Seven Sisters and uh, all part of the Derry Bay Mountains um, and I introduced Iggy into my photography uh, a few months after I started publishing my work on Instagram. Um, wondering like would anybody want to see a picture of a dog or a photo of her anyway and uh, so I gradually introduced her and it's become now the fact I can't post a picture without her in it. So in Iggy's earlier days um, we'd go to Ard's Forest quite a bit and now uh, we'd get a lot of training done with Iggy and um, just it's always something I thought was very important to have a good training with your dog and uh, to build a good trust. So uh, we spent quite a while with her training and um, I learned some lessons from previous dogs that I didn't make enough of an effort and with Iggy being born to two wor uh, working dogs on a sheep farm down in Kingscourt in Cavan is where she came from um, she came with a great intelligence already a uh, great temperament very calm dog as well um, maybe that's the, the female in her I'm not sure but um, so it was a pleasure to work with her and to train her up to a standard I, I wanted like with her um, callback being the main thing as well and then you know, they sit and stay and um, everything else go, goes along with it then afterwards. Um, so with that, when I'm out enjoying my photography, I can actually work Iggy like a sheepdog. I can send her off over onto a hill and I can tell her to go left, to go right, to sit and even to look at certain things. I can just ask her and she actually does it for me, which is quite astounding really. <laughs> so um, this is why where it comes across in the photography too. She's so calm and patient and uh, I see that's where the trust is um, so my photography style has uh, improved quite a bit and from the earlier days and I would put a lot of that down just to have been out and about and with Iggy being a great model and a, a muse as well I would have to add so yeah even uh, a couple of years into um, sharing my photography which would be about five years ago or so um, people started mentioning about maybe starting a business of some sort or selling your work and uh, back then uh, I just enjoyed my hobby too much and I didn't want to really turn it into a business so it would be something that was forced. But uh, in the last year or so I was coming around to the, the idea that I could manage both. And um, But also that so many people would like something of Iggy, you know, some, a, a photograph or maybe a, as I have here now is a calendar. Yeah, lo lots of people tell me that the first thing they do in the morning is actually over breakfast open up social media and um, go to our page to see where Iggy has been the day before, a few days before. And uh, that's such a nice thing. And now they can have something physical to have at home. There's 13 photographs here of what we do, mostly out and about. And um, this maybe the start of some more projects, which I'm quite excited about. Two and a half years ago then, Iggy and myself and a friend and her dog were walking along the Maharoti beach and it was just after a storm and just the high tide and we're just walking along the high tide and enjoying the waves and the dr drama of the sea, I guess, and um, Iggy was caught out by a rogue wave that rolled quite a large log up onto her and um, it took for the wave to roll the log back off her and that resulted in quite a serious hip dislocation. Um, quite a tough time for the girl. Uh, so we got her to the vets and when I put a post up about it, um, uh, unbeknownst to me, a fundraiser began in America by Malcolm in uh, Milwaukee and within a couple of days they raised $800 which transferred into euros was 650 euros which is an amazing thing. It had been put up, I couldn't say no to it so that was fantastic. Um, show of generosity from people then locally and from around the world that all contributed to that. And she recovered quite well, but sadly that injury then became fully arthritic and only three and a half months ago she had her hip ball removed 
and part of the leg and um, she was then expected then to grow her ligaments and muscle back into that area to give herself a false hip which she had been doing really well we followed our uh, physio program quite well and but sadly the leg that had been removed or cut off it grew back too quickly and she went back in on friday for another smaller operation just to clean that up a little bit so as we speak now she's in vets recovering um i hope we might have her tomorrow or maybe the day after uh, maybe tuesday or wednesday and but again three months ago a fund was set up again uh, by the same people in america but because of I, I guess more followers and more people being aware of our story uh, astonishingly 1500 euros was raised within half a day um, that's the generosity of people out there when they see an animal hurt and they want to help and be a part of the recovery and that fund even went to 2000 when people were complaining that they couldn't get on to the site to add their donations um, and uh, that 2000 has helped immensely and for this operation no funding will be required um, that was quite moving um, uh, to thank a lot of people for their help there so I think by um, when I left London it was probably one of the best decisions I made in my life um, I had almost 20 years spent there and um, it is just a very different way of life here it took me a few years to feel local again and get back used to the pace but it, this is where I end up finding Iggy, Iggy came into my life and this is where then my photography has grown here really uh, up in the hills with her and basically um, you never know what's around the corner or how things can happen and um, if you have a plan or an idea why not just go with it and see where you, it takes you.